Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about simplifying exponential expressions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. Okay, we've been practicing this, so let's go through some examples and see what we can to help solve these, or learn to solve these, or simplify these. So let's get busy. First one, let's say we have, let's zoom in a little here, we have 6m squared n to the negative 1 power all to the third power, okay? Well, my first step here is what I want to do is I'm going to multiply or really distribute this exponent, use the power of a product rule to all parts. So we have 6 to the third power times m squared to the third power and n to the negative 1 to the third power. From there, we're going to use the power rule, all right, and we're going to kind of multiply some of these things out what we can, okay? So uh, 6 to the 3rd is just, well, 6 to the 3rd. m to the 2 to the 3rd power, multiply 2 times 3, which is 6, and n to the negative 1, and then we take the negative 1 times the 3, and we have a negative 3, n to the negative 3. From there, we can simplify a little bit more. Okay, remember, uh, or not remember, 6 to the third power is 216. m to the sixth really can't simplify anymore. But we have n to the negative third power. Bring that bad boy down to the denominator. And we have n to the positive third power. And there we have our answer. Not too bad. Let's get another one. Let's go with b. Okay. So we have 17 to the fifth power times 17 to the negative fourth power times 17 to the negative third power, okay? This one's actually not too bad. Notice we have the same base across the board, okay? Since we have the same base being multiplied, we just really have to add the exponents. So we have 17 to the power of five plus a negative four plus a negative three. Well, what does that simplify to be? Well, five plus a negative four is a, uh, 1 plus a negative 3 is a negative 2. So we have 17 to the negative 2 power, which is 1 over 17 squared. Don't forget that. And 17 squared is 1 over, or is 289. So we have 289. And there we have it, 1 over 289. Let's go with another one, if we can fit it in here. Using these, u to the negative 1, v, over v to the negative one power, all squared, okay? We can distribute that square to the numerator and the denominator. So we have the u to the negative one v squared over v to the negative one, all squared, okay? Well, let's distribute that squared by multiplying it to each exponent. So negative one times two is a negative two. So we have u to the negative two and v to the first power, one times two is two, we have v squared. All over, denominator, same thing, negative one times two, negative two. So we have v to the negative two power. We don't really like negative exponents, so if it's the numerator, bring it to the denominator, make a positive, and vice versa. So the u squared is gonna go down to the denominator and be a positive u, or u to the negative two is positive u squared in the denominator v squared comes up, so we have v squared times v squared. Here we add our exponents, right? Multiplication, 2 plus 2 is a 4, and so we have v to the positive 4 power over u squared. And there's our answer. All right, let's keep going. Let's go with, break it down here a little bit, uh, on d, d. We have negative two, a to the third, b to the negative one, times five, a to the negative two, b to the second power, okay? So let's simplify this. Well, since it's all being multiplied, we can, it's multiplication really across the board, right? Every single one of these little bits here is being multiplied. Let's rearrange and put our like terms next to each other. Negative two times five, right, times the a's, a to the third times a to the negative two, 
let's put little dots under the ones that we've dealt with so we don't forget, times b to the negative 1 and b squared. And I think I've gotten everything there. Okay, So let's simplify that. Not too bad. I can minor like terms. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. a to the third times a to the negative 2. Remember multiplication. Add the exponents. 3 plus a negative 2, positive 1. So we have a to the positive 1 power. And we don't really need to write that positive 1 power, but you can, I guess. And now the same thing. Same base with a b. Add the exponents. Negative 1 plus 2 is a positive 1. So we have b to the first power. And that's it. Negative 10 times a times b. Let's keep this train going. we got e here. Okay. e x squared square root of 2, all to the fourth power, times x squared, square root of 2, all to the negative 4 power. Okay? So this one, a little tricky, okay? One thing we notice is that we have the same base here, right? x squared, square root of 2. So what I'm going to do is, remember our rule when we add the exponents for multiplying that. So we have x squared, uh, square root of 2, all to the exponent of 4, plus a negative 4 right here. Well, 4 plus a negative 4 is 0. x squared, square root of 2, all to the 0 power. And then, this is pretty easy, right? Anything to the 0 power is just 1. And there we have our answer. It just came out to be easy 1. Would have saved you time doing it this way, because if you had tried to simplify all that and done it, yes, you got to 1, but it, it'd take you a while. All right. And lastly, let's get with f here. 3w squared all to the fifth power over 6w negative 2 power squared. Okay? Well, this fifth power here, okay, we remember can add it to each one of our bases with the exponents. So we have 3 to the fifth power times w squared to the fifth power over, same thing with the denominator, 6 squared times w, w to the negative 2 power to the second power. Remember that little exponent there of the 2? Let's simplify this where we can. All right, 3 to the fifth power is 243. And then we add the uh, multiply the exponents. 2 times 5 is 10. So we have w to the tenth power over 6 squared is 36. Multiply the exponents, negative 2 times 2 is a negative 4. So we have w to the negative 4. Okay. Now we have to bring the numerator to the uh, denominator to the numerator with this negative exponent. So let's do that. 243 w to the 10 times w to the positive fourth power over 36. Okay. And now let's simplify where we can. 243 over 36, uh, that does simplify to be 27 over 4. And then 10, uh, we the multiplication with the same base, right? We add the exponents. 10 plus 4 is 14. We have w to the 14th power. And there's our answer. 27 w to the 14th power over 4. So now we have our solutions. We got, went through a lot of examples, but now you should know how to simplify exponential expressions. Hit the like button and comment down below if you learned something, and subscribe. This helps us make more videos. Thanks for watching. Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com